Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to talk about counting calories. Someone had asked me what my opinion is on counting calories and if someone should use this tool for weight loss. Fantastic question. I actually have to say that calorie counting is an excellent tool for weight loss especially short term and especially for those that have been on some sort of weight loss diet whether it's been by restricting or cutting down on the food that they're eating or eating healthier food and replacing junk food with healthy food and they've been doing a diet for a while and they're not getting weight loss results that they wanted okay they're not losing weight and they're like i've been doing this diet for two months <laughs> why is this happening then i would definitely recommend counting calories and i would say doing the calorie counting for a minimum of two weeks and up to two months. After two months, you don't need to be counting calories. You'll have a good idea as to how many calories are in the foods that you're eating or in the meals that you're eating. But it's something that is good to keep in check. I find in general that a lot of times when people start actually writing down what they're eating every day and at the end of the day counting the, the calories in those foods that they're eating, then they start actually getting a good reality check as to how much they're actually eating and how many calories are in the foods that they're eating. A lot of times people don't realize how much they're eating. They forget about the mid-morning snack they had or the fourth meal they had at midnight, all of that. <laughs> and once they start writing things down, they become more accountable to what they're eating and keeping track of it. And then when they count the calories, a lot of times people always tell me how amazed they are, how many calories certain foods have. You know, like a lot of health foods. A lot of times people think that health foods are low in calorie. That's not always the case. Salad dressings can have a lot of calories in it. Nuts and seeds can have a lot of calories in it. Beans and legumes can have a lot of calories in it. Things like that. So sometimes you go onto a healthy diet and you're eating all these wonderful, beautiful, healthy foods, but maybe you might be eating too much of certain foods that it's not helping you lose weight. And in fact, it could be actually helping you gain weight. <laughs> and that might not be what you want, right? And it's the same thing too with drinks and junk food. Those things have a lot of calories too. So counting calories is an excellent tool to, to have an idea how many calories are in certain foods that you're eating. So. One thing that I suggest if someone is trying to lose weight and either they're not losing weight or they're at a weight loss plateau, what I would suggest is counting calories for two weeks, minimum, and up to two months. If you go longer than two months, I find that what ends up happening to people that count calories on a regular basis is that they sometimes can get kind of lazy and end up eating the same foods all the time because they kind of know how much calories is in certain meals. So they just kind of stick to those meals. And over time, if you're always eating the same foods and the same meals, you're gonna run into nutritional deficiencies and things like that. Also too, if someone's like counting calories for years and years on end, then they can also be running into issues with disordered eating and, and, and just losing the joy and, and the love and the, the flavor of even eating foods. You know, they're, they're too focused on the numbers. And we don't wanna get into that. We just wanna be able to look at our food and gauge the food and know, okay, you know, this meal is gonna help me lose weight and that meal is definitely not. <laughs> That's where we wanna be. You know, that you, you kinda have an idea as to how many calories are in your meals. And I would say after two weeks to a month or even two months, you'll know. You'll know how many calories on average are in the fruits and the vegetables and in the meats and in the cheeses and the nuts and the seeds and the legumes. You'll have an idea, like just by looking at things, how many calories are in a meal, okay? So this is a great tool. And for those that are, let's say, on a weight loss plateau or those that are trying to maintain their weight after they, they've lost weight, counting calories also can help, okay? So for someone, let's say, that has hit a weight loss plateau, they've been losing weight, fantastic, and, and suddenly for two months they're not losing anything and they still need to be losing another 10 or 20 pounds. Counting calories will help you figure out what you're eating and also perhaps, too, how much you need to, to decrease in order to get the weight loss going. So what I would suggest to someone that's hit a weight loss plateau is to eat as you regularly do, write everything down for a good week or two, and calculate your daily calorie consumption. And then over a week or two, you're gonna start to see an average as to how much you're eating every day that's keeping you on that weight loss plateau. And then what I would recommend is just cutting down 100 calories out of that out of your daily consumption, 
okay? Just that much. It's, it's not that much. 100 calories is like a piece of fruit or something. And then you might see that just by cutting out 100 calories, you're able to get the weight loss going, you know, or it might be 200 calories. But a lot of times it's not that much that you need to cut down on to actually get the weight loss going again. And for those that are on maintenance mode or about to go in maintenance mode after losing um, the desired amount of weight you want to lose, and you don't want to be gaining the weight back, I suggest doing calorie counting for two weeks as well. Okay, And what you would do is every day write everything you're eating down, calculate the amount of calories you're eating, and also watch your weight. And it, let's say you're in that maintenance mode and suddenly start seeing the weight come on, then cut back 100 calories and see if it keeps you at maintenance mode. Over two weeks, if, you, if you're on maintenance mode and you're not gaining weight and you've been counting your calories and your weight just stays the same, then you can figure out what your average consumption of calories is per day to know, okay, I need X amount of calories every day to be at maintenance mode. This is how much I need to eat. And so that's a great tool. So you know how much you need to eat to maintain your weight and if you need to lose weight, you'll know how many calories you need to do that. And you'll also know if you start gaining weight, how many calories you're eating to actually start gaining weight. So this is a great way of getting to know your own body because every body is different. If someone were to ask me, you know, how many calories do they need to eat on average a day? It really differs between men and women. It differs at your age group. It differs at the amount of activity you're doing a day, how many calories you're burning a day, and also your metabolism. You know, every person's different with their metabolism. Some people have a high metabolism. Some people have a low metabolism. I can say on average, women, if they want to lose weight, on average, they need 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day to lose weight. Never ever go below 1,200 calories a day. It's very low, 1,200 calories a day. And I find if someone goes even lower than that, then they run into issues, uh, potential issues of not getting enough nutrition out of their food and, and um, slowing down their metabolism even more. So always a minimum of 1,200 calories a day. On average, women need about 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day, depending on your age, activity level, and metabolism to lose weight. Men, on the other hand, I would say need about 1,600 to 2,000 calories a day to lose weight and never going under 1,600 calories a day. And then to maintain weight, I would say women on average need about 1,600 to 2,200 calories a day to maintain their weight, somewhere in that range, depending on their height, their, their weight, and their metabolism and activity level every day. Men, on the other hand, I would say need about 2,000 or 2,200 calories to 2,800 or even 3,000 calories a day to maintain their weight. So those are sort of a wide range of a guideline as to how much you need to lose and how much you need to maintain. The main thing is, is you have to listen to your own body. Don't listen to a figure that someone's just throwing out at you. You really have to see for yourself as to what your body needs and what feels good for you and what's working for you and you as an individual. All right, so that's my opinion on counting calories. And also I wanna to mention too that the next seven day raw food challenge, it starts this coming Monday, July 21st. If you wanna do a raw food cleanse, this is super fun, the food's delicious and you get to eat raw foods for seven days straight. People feel fantastic when they do a raw food diet and it's a great way of doing a cleanse where you can actually still eat food and fresh, beautiful food. And pretty much when you sign up for the program, you get the recipes and a menu planner and a shopping list worksheets and, and everything and guidelines pretty much of everything you need to know about doing the raw food diet for a week. Plus you get access to a private online forum where you get to connect with everyone doing the raw food challenge with you. And there's daily videos walking you through everything you need to know about the raw food diet for the week. So it's a fun program. It's an all online program. So you can do the program from anywhere around the world and to sign up and get more information on the seven day raw food challenge you can go to my website at radiantcentral.com click on products and you'll see the seven day raw food challenge there have a super fabulous day everyone and i'll see you again soon